Hello guys, it's Al90 and today we have a video on a solo monkey bomb god mode glitch called the Black Ops Cold War Zombies. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do that monkey bomb god mode solo and I will show you guys how to do a co-op as well because just in case that some of you do not have the requirement that you need in order to do it solo, you can still do a co-op. And I'm going to be showing you guys stuff that you can combine with the monkey bomb glitch to make it even more overpowered. So this video will be jam-packed with a solo monkey bomb glitch co-op and multiple things you can do with the monkey bomb glitch and with this monkey bomb glitch we'll be able to go through rounds get those camels unlocked very easily and all that good stuff from this glitch but anyways let's get right into this video now the first thing i'm gonna go over is the solo monkey bomb god mode glitch first step is you do need two controllers and you do need two accounts that's very important you need them both to have an activision id account and you need to make sure you have both accounts added on each other's accounts that's very important Important. If you do not have each other added, then this will not work. So add each other with the Activision ID. Now, the next thing you need to do after you have all of that done is make sure that the account that has Xbox or PlayStation Live is the primary account. And the way you do that in PlayStation is by going to Settings, Account Management, then go to Activate as the Primary. Make sure you guys do that and activate it as the Primary so you can have all the other accounts, have your games, and have online. That's very important. Next step is go into the game and simply have that second controller connect to your game. So go right ahead and log in and connect that second controller. At this point, I recommend you guys to put this attachment on your gun. This will make it so you get more salvage and you can get this done earlier. So go right ahead, have this on your gun. If you guys can't do it, then just load up without it. It doesn't matter. You don't need it. It just makes it easier when you do have it. You want to start the game on whichever map you want to start it on. It doesn't matter which one. When you do load up into the game, you want the main player, which is the player on top, to get the salvage. So let him get 1,000 salvage and it's common salvage that you do need for this now if you do see a stun grenade or anything like that on the ground pick that up as well you guys should be able to see one before you get 1000 salvage so pick that up and you know if it's a decoy pick it up anything like that just pick it up but just simply get zombie kills until you get 1000 salvage and it's like i said common salvage score ahead do that and that should lead you to round around six to seven and you guys should have enough for that monkey bomb now once you have enough you might go over to that crafting bench then get the monkey bomb then switch it with a stun or something like that that is in the same slot as the monkey bomb so do that that's why i said earlier to pick up a stun or decoy or something like that before you get a 1000 salvage because this will make it even better because you won't have to spend salvage on anything else but when you guys switch it out and when you have that monkey bomb on the ground you then want to have your second controller head all the way over to that monkey bomb and pick it up you want to go over to a wall so at this point you want that second account with that monkey bomb and that first account just without that monkey bomb and the one that is the host so keep that in mind but after you have all that done then you want to have that second controller take out the monkey and get ready to throw it against the wall like you see i'm doing now you want to have that main account get ready to pause the game then that second account needs to throw that monkey and when that monkey is in the air the main account needs to pause the game Make sure you pause it in the air, that's very important. At this point, if you're on Xbox, it is a little bit different. What you should just be able to do is leave with that second controller, and that should work. I do not have an Xbox, so I couldn't test it myself, but I heard that from other people. So if you do have an Xbox, just try that, and that should work for you. But if it doesn't, maybe try what I'm going to say next, and it might work. So if you're on PlayStation, you definitely have to do this. You want to have both accounts go into social. So have that main account go into social and then that second account go into social. At this point, if you have both accounts added on each other's accounts, you need that. That's very important and it needs to be through the Activision ID. And if you have that, then you want to have that main controller click on the main account of that main controller. That's exactly what you need to do. Then you should see an option to leave. And at this point, you want to go right ahead and leave. Now, when you hit that leave button, you want to wait at least 30 seconds. And that's very important. So sit there, wait 30 seconds so everything is good because it takes a while for your second account to leave the game. So sit there, wait 30 seconds, and you'll be all good. Just wait there. Now, once you're done with that 30 seconds, then you want to have your main account go right ahead and back out of the pause menu and make it so he's in the game and if you've done it right then the monkey bomb should be on the ground not moving up and down and it should be infinite if you've done everything that said that is what should happen now your screen's gonna be a bit glitched and in order to fix that you want to go into 
the settings then go to the graphics and save area bounds and then just mess with that and it will fix that and you will be fine so that's how you guys do this solo all zombies will go right to the monkey i went super in depth with this so you should have no questions now if you have any questions definitely make sure to ask me down below if you do but you shouldn't i went through as in depth as i can but when you're in this monkey bomb god mode everything will go to the monkey bomb except for the specials so like the boss and the dogs won't but all zombies will go to the monkey bomb which is a very very good and you guys can walk around the whole map if you're not stuck in one spot you can go around the whole map and no matter where you go the zombies will go to the monkey so this is definitely a very very good glitch and this is how you do it solo and all that good stuff now i'm gonna go into how to use co-op the co-op version is a lot easier to do and everything like that like way easier so if you don't have another controller or if you just don't want to do this solo method go right ahead and use co-op method and you do need another person for co-op method so drop a gamer tag down below if you do not have anybody or just try to join my discord and you can find somebody through that way which will be the pin comment down below now when you get that second player to join in this is what you need to do you guys need to go right ahead and try to get this attachment on your gun like i said earlier you know just get this attachment and with this one it'll make it so you drop more salvage because you need do this at a very low round because they made it so after round five you do end up not having the ability to join back so keep that in mind so try to do this as early as possible so you guys want to load up into the game once you're in the game you guys want to have that person that is not the host to get the monkey bomb so have that non-host get all the kills have him have that attachment and he will get that monkey bomb early and just go ahead and do that you guys should get it around round five or six now i got it in the footage at round five and what you need to do next after you get that monkey is you want to have that non-host get ready to throw that monkey against a wall like you've seen in the solo method and you want the host to get ready to pause the game you want that non-host to throw that monkey and when it's in the air you want the host to pause the game at this point you want that non-host to leave the game and you want to wait on that pause the screen then you just want your friend to join back so keep it paused and have him join back and try to do this as early as possible if you do it too late then your friend will not be able to join back now when he joins back then you can unpause the game and if you've done everything right then the monkey bomb should be on the ground not moving up and down but just completely still and it should stay there for you unlimited amount of time all zombies will go to the monkey and like i said earlier the only thing i won't is the bosses and the plague hounds so keep that in mind but all zombies will go to the monkey you can go wherever you want on the map you can pack a bunch do whatever you want and all that good stuff so this is a very very good glitch and that's how you do the co-op method now i'm gonna show you guys a unlimited death machine glitch that could help you guys out with going through rounds in this glitch definitely recommend you use this on the special zombies like the megatons but if you do this what you can do is monkey bomb anywhere it's not just in spawn you can literally do this anywhere to get a death machine use it until you are almost done with the death machine do not completely go through with it then you want to go to the pack a punch pack a punch press right and d pad to go into the death machine and then once after like two seconds two to three seconds then you want to pack a punch and if you've done it right you will see that it will let you get ammo back and that's it for that keep on rinse and repeating that over and over and over and you can get unlimited death machine ammo and you can use that to kill the bosses to kill the zombies all that good stuff that is something they can find with this monkey bomb glitch with either solo or co-op and it will make it even better so that's it for this video i know this is a long one but i wanted to go through the solo version and the co-op version and give you guys some stuff that you can combine with the monkey bomb glitch to make it even better so i want to go fully in depth with both versions stay tuned for more glitches on call of duty black ops cold war zombies and tips and tricks but that's it hopefully you did enjoy now i'm not going to be doing a trick question in this video because this one is a long one and stuff like that i don't really do ones on long ones like this but if you did watch this far, put a hashtag glitch hype in the comments down below to see who watched until the very end. If you did, huge shout out to you. You're awesome. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe to be a part of the ninja team today. Because in order to be a ninja, you have to be silent, and I'm called Silent9. But anyways, that's what it. Peace out. See you in my newest video. Have a great day. You guys are awesome. See you later. Peace.